Now I am as well acquainted with a man called Mr. Dunn. A very jovial man was he, and full of harmless fun. He courted well and married was at the age of twenty-one, and soon a long big family had Mr. and Mrs. Dunn. In course of time now Mr. Dunn, he got himself a wife, and soon he found out that he had the hardest fight for life, for to keep three little bellies full and a wife that weighed twelve stone. Well, any man that could do that, you ought to say well done. When Mrs. Dunn presented Dunn with their first bouncing son, they named him Herbert Duncan Dunn, but called him Cherry Bun. So now the sporting had begun with many more to come. Said Mrs. Dunn to Mr. Dunn, more bread or will be done. Well, here's good luck to the oldest Dunn, likewise to the youngest Dunn. Let's hope the youngest Dunn will do as the oldest Dunn has done. For any Dunn to be a Dunn and not a vacant one, what's done by Dunn must be well done. So well done, good old Dunn. And there was high Dunn, low Dunn, over Dunn and under Dunn. All the little younger Dunns in and at the run. There was old Dunn and young Dunn and young Dunn's youngest son. Young Dunn will be a Dunn when the old Dunn's done.